पता लग जाएगा कितनी प्राइवेसी आपके पास है एक्चुअली यू हैचुअली नो प्राइवेसी वेन यू यूज व्हाट्सएप सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल एज वी गो फॉरवर्ड वेन आई नॉट टॉक ऑफ साइबर लॉ आई फाइंड दर्ज अज पॉलिसी वैक्यूम एट द इंटरनेशनल लेवल दर इज नॉट अ सिंगल इंटरनेशनल साइबर लॉ इन पॉलिस सो डिफरेंट कंट्रीज वर आस्ट टू कम अप विद द नेशनल लॉज थैंक्स टू द यूनिवर्सिटी मॉडल लॉ ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉमर्स ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन India started working and 23 years back we came up with this law the Indian Information Technology Act 2002 which continues to be India's mother legislation in India if you are using any of the seven raw materials you use computers computer systems computer networks computer resources communication devices as also data and information in the electronic form you get covered under this law and this has become India's mother legislation anything to do with electronic format you are covered so each one of you who are on phones or are using the electronic format you are already covered under this law and it is a law is no excuse in the eyes of this law this law already got amended once in 2008 and is something that you should definitely know if you are doing activities in the digital ecosystem the problem is this law has provided for various things you know we in india love bollywood movies so this law has also been prepared keeping in mind the bollywood film making craft it's a like a masala film that this is a masala legislation you got masala of e-commerce of electronic governance of cyber crimes of authentication and the like but please remember that you can be sued for unlimited damages by way of compensation under this law please remember that this law has already stipulated various cyber crimes punishable with imprisonment and fine here are some of these cyber crimes uh in addition if you are dealing with obscene content don't think you are above the law if you get caught it's actually a heinous offense punishable with imprisonment and fine so the next time you get an adult content on your whatsapp group what should you do well if you read and you delete it that's good enough you want to save it you could be in trouble anybody could report against you and you could be problematic Area. but more importantly you have to realize that in 2021 the government of india came up with the it rules 2021 which are directly applicable to all of you basically these rules are asking all intermediaries to have in place various privacy policy rules and regulations to inform their users that they will not upload content which is in violation of the law in addition you will be required to protect your computer resources so cyber security suddenly becomes a statutory responsibility for you as an interviewer so if you are in the pr ecosystem whatever company that you are running in whatever company that you are working in you all become intermediaries under the information technology act because you are dealing with third party data and that means so uh, you will also have to be careful about a variety of other things now a lot of indians say i don't care i will not comply no problem you don't want to do that just be prepared for these consequences you can actually be sued for unlimited damages by way of compensation under the law you can also get criminal exposure under the it act so what am i is it's important that please protect your legal liability agar aap apne data tak hi simit hai to life achhi hai but agar aap third party data ke sath deal kar rahe hain to kahin na kahin aankhein khol lijiye kyun kyunki agar kahin gadbad ho gayi aur kisi ne मुकदमा कंप्लेंट दाखिल कर दी तो अगले कई सालों तक आपकी नींद शायद उड़ जाने लगती है सो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट अंडर द आईटी रूल्स दीस गाइस हैव कैटेगरीली सेड दैट यू विल बी एग्जेम्प्टेड फ्रॉम लीगल लायबिलिटी इफ यू कंप्लाई यू डोंट कंप्लाई एंड योर लीगल स्टैट्यूटरी एग्जेम्प्शन फ्रॉम लायबिलिटी विल बी स्टैंडिंग इवैपोरेट जब हम महाभारत पढ़ते हैं उसमें गीता डिस्कोर्स आता है गीता को पूरा पढ़ लीजिए तो गीता का सार एक लाइन भगवान कृष्ण अर्जुन को कहते हैं हे अर्जुन मेरी शरण में आओ और मैं तुम्हारा तुम्हारी सुरक्षा करूंगा Uh, the Delhi High Court, the IT rules were upheld. I was the amicus curiae in this matter. Uh, more importantly, there are a number of propositions. I want to quickly just uh, tell you that if you have a company and if your company has a violation, 
तो कंपनी को तो जेल भेज नहीं सकते तो जितने टॉप मैनेजमेंट के लोग हैं उनको जेल भेजा जा सकता है ये लॉ कहता है तो अब अगर आपने जेल नहीं जाना तो उस लॉ को कंपाई करना कहीं ना कहीं आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है और अब ग्यारह अगस्त दो के बाद लाइफ पूरी तरह से बदल जाएगी वाई बिकॉज इंडिया हैज पास डिजिटल डेटा प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस इज गोट बी एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु आर इन दिस पी आर स्पेस वाई बिकॉज यू अल्टीमेटली बी डीलिंग विद पर्सनल डेटा ऑफ योर एम्प्लॉयज ऑफ योर कस्टमर्स ऑफ योर बिजनेस पार्टनर्स इफ यू डोंट अप्लाई विद दिस लॉ जस्ट बी प्रिपेयर वाई दिस लॉ इज टेलिंग यू यू डोंट अप्लाई Just be prepared to pay a small fine to the government of India. How much is the quantum of fine? Two hundred and fifty crore rupees. अगर ढाई सौ करोड़ रुपए आपके पास मुफ्त हैं और आप सरकार को देना चाहते हैं तो उस लॉ को बिल्कुल कमलाई ना करें। वरना अगर आप नहीं करेंगे तो ढाई सौ करोड़ रुपए तक ही चीजें आपके पास fines आ जाएंगी। So no wonder cyber security becomes a crucial necessity. We will have to start adopting cyber security. As a way of life, as we go forward, unfortunately, as a country, we don't have much work mm-hmm. on cyber security. There's no dedicated law on cyber security, though we have uh, come up with some provisions on cyber security under the Indian IT Act. We've given a very exhaustive definition of uh, cyber security, which is what we gave in 2008, continues to be relevant today and even much more time after that. We have come up with the National Cyber Security Policy 2030. 